Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Guardian Games competitive playlist on the Titan as requested by somebody on the channel. So, it's going to be a little bit different from the Wallop one. We are going to be using Strand, as you can see. It's the first time I think I've used Strand on a, on a video. Uh, so, we'll obviously going Berserker. But I will be switching at two different places to this build. I'll be switching to... Uh, Thunder Crash, simply for big damage against bosses. I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling uh, the Berserker's capabilities to do that kind of damage. Whereas the Thunder Crash, in and out. So, have a look at the loadouts. Save those loadouts so that you can very easily switch in between them. And if you've got uh, times three, times four uh, gold ability regeneration, you'll get the super back in about 10 seconds after you switch. So, <clears throat> just like with the wallop run, what I've done there, uh, I showed in the video, is I've got a chest plate with solar reserves on, triple solar. So, I'm going to start the strike with that on and then switch immediately to my chest plate. As you can see there. So, <clears throat> Same thing again, we've got a couple of Void guys here and a couple of Snipers. We'll take them down, uh, as you can see there. Try not to explode them because you want to minimise the risk of killing any of these. Well, it be this guy here. You wouldn't be killing the, the big archer, it would be the Legionary. And finish both of them and you should come out here with 10,000. Now, because we don't have a super in, 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 in regards to the berserker that we can throw we're gonna have to rely on weapon damage to take down threshers and stuff like that luckily our bow is top tier it's obviously anti-barrier but as you'll see here does tons of damage against threshers yes i am talking about the wish ender so what i do is i put a heat just uh, maybe about four shots but you can start hitting the thresher well before he gets to you well before it gets to you See there, it, it does actually do big damage. Uh, oh, nearly, nearly. Get him away. Uh, <laughs> move, boy. And we'll just get him finishable as well. So, you can start hitting the Thresher well before he gets to you. And just finish him off with a machine gun. So again, we're, we're back down this bottom right hand side. Because a lot of the ads seem to come here. As you can see, I managed to get a couple of finishes. But you don't... You don't always get the big score. I'm using my, my machine gun, as you'll have seen, it's, it's the Avalanche. For people that might not know, the Avalanche was a dawning weapon. It's a solar, it's an adaptive frame, same as the Trails machine gun, same as the Commemoration. I do like adaptives, they're very stable, good, good damage output. In fact, there's just nothing wrong with adept machine guns, uh, adaptive. There's nothing wrong with the dent machine guns either, but adaptive, that's what I meant. You, you guys knew what I meant. So, you've got to be very careful. You'd have seen one of the mods that I've put on, uh, and it really does help out. It's Proximity Ward, and it's it's on the class item. And it basically gives me uh, uh, a powerful overshield whilst I'm finishing enemies. Again, you'll have noticed I'm not taking it. I'm not taking out the barrier champion. I'm taking everything else out first. Because when you take the barrier, all the rest of the ads stand a chance. And when I say stand a chance, it will happen. But as you can see here, objective complete. Or any ads that are still here will now despawn. So you want to maximize your score by killing everything else and leaving the barrier up till last. Again, we're gonna use shackle grenade here. And, and shackle, because when you throw the shackle, it lets off three smaller one, three smaller, and, and, and it will kind of suspend three enemies. Perfect here. It, but I, I, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a complaint. The thing about the shackle grenade is, it sometimes got mind of its own where it goes. You can throw it right in front of the enemy and it'll, and it'll go wandering looking for enemies that aren't there. So again, we'll get this barrier up. And as you can see, I threw it to the right, got the barrier, but also suspended some ads on the left. So that's a, 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 same same as last time. Just put my my uh, suspending uh, 
barricade up. That is one of your aspects. That, uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, Drenger's Lash. So when you activate your class ability, you create this ripple effect that will suspend anything that hits. And it's, it's got a decent range on it. Again, we don't have our super here, but... Uh, well, we don't have the super that we can just throw and go. So we'll do a we'll, we'll do what emote finisher, and then I just use my melee just to get out of here. Now, a thing if you're not um, again, I'm sure most you, you you will know this. The melee reminds me a lot of the stasis melee, where it works best if you know it, you can activate it in the air. I just want to get the the finisher on him. You can activate it in the air. But uh, it, work, it works just as well on the ground. Uh, doesn't need, it's not like a shoulder charge, you do not need to be sprinting. It can be activated from a stand and start. What I've done there is I picked up this, uh, this uh, unstable core. Once I picked it up, that activated the ads to come out of that door. They won't come out of that door until you pick it up. So now I'm going to get into position. I'm going to wait for this thresher. Watch out for the rockets because they they have pretty decent tracking so what I do is I, I get I get the thresher down reasonably low and then just finish with the machine gun because my machine gun and, and make sure you do it if, if you have an auto load and host a machine gun every time you move somewhere anytime you're going anywhere moving from one fight to another stole the machine gun give it a chance to actually reload you know I, I be, I'm, you know, at times I'm guilty of guilt, guilty of it myself, but you have to be really careful, you know, there's no point in having something like that if you're not going to use it, so just get into the habit, always storing your machine gun before you move to another encounter, so we'll just suspend, get him finishable, and then I throw my, sh my, my grenade, so we can finish, and then get him finishable now you'll see you will notice i don't always get the big points and that is i think there's a cooldown period but it's, it's kind of weird I, I, I can't really explain it because sometimes i'm like oh yeah got the big score for both of those and then other times it is i mean i never got it for that maybe, maybe that that guy there wasn't an elite if you like whereas you know I mean, I only got 8,000 for some reason there. Normally, I get like nine. So it's it's kind of it's kind of strange, but six minutes 42. This is what I use when I'm doing the run. I, I use these. I've got points during the strike that I look at to see what my time and score is. Clearing that area is one of them. So getting out of there under seven minutes is really good. And over 90,000 is really good. So... At the moment, I'm I'm ahead of the Warlock run, points-wise, in my head. But it's not there, because I, I, I've i done runs on the Warlock. Or I had done runs on the Warlock, where I, I was ahead of that score there as well. It's in the hangar where the tank is. That's, that is really where we can make some time up, because I've been guilty of spending too much time with the, with the big Cabal... Bobby, what's he called? I always forget what they're called. We'll come back to me. I always call them berserkers, but they're not. Tormentors, that's what they're called. That's why I call them berserkers, because it kind of sounds the same. I know it doesn't, but in my head it does. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, another thing at the end, I'm going to show you something else you can do when you're in these strikes, and it's worthwhile taking advantage of if you've got something you need to do this with. But, uh, yeah, so when we clear this area, not this area, and then you know, up the up the ramp into the tank, that will be the first place where we're going to switch to uh, we're going to switch to Thunder Crash because we're just going to use that now to take the tank out, and then as soon as I do that, because it's so easy to get your abilities back in these in these uh, strikes and these nightfalls because of uh, obviously the, the the gold ability regeneration you get your super back and like you know 
I, I, I don't know exactly how long, but it feels like about 10 seconds. We're just going to melee this guy and then get him finishable. Hello, emo finishing. As soon as I finish, I'm grabbing. As soon as he dies, I'm holding to grab that orb because the ship will start with the ship will fire maybe once or twice, you know, depending on how close you are to slamming. After you slam, the ship will, will still keep firing. It's not, it won't keep firing much, but it will keep firing. And let me tell you, the, the, and you guys will know this as well. The shots are no joke. It's like volleys of rockets that it's firing at you. So you don't really want to be messing about whilst uh, a ship fires volleys of rockets at you. That's not a, a sentence that I like. Yeah, I was just chilling and decided to stand while a ship fired volleys of rockets at me. So you just want to get out of there. As soon as you finish them, grab the, the unstable core and then make your way out. So as you can see, I just go in, change to the other loadout. See the super? I mean, obviously I'm picking up orbs as well, but because I've got that gold ability, uh, regeneration. By the way, dude, I'm trying to kill the stuff here. Because I've got that uh, regeneration, I've got my super now. So I'm going to throw my grenade. I've got the. Uh, I showed it at the start. If you if you look at the the, the majigamies, the the abilities and all the rest of it, I showed that I've got lightning grenade. We'll see if we can get a finisher on him. Nice. And we'll put a storm grenade on him. I never get any points for finishing him, but I always do it. So that's reasonable time it's not much more faster than the warlock 10 minutes it's when i get out of this room we're going to that's when i, I gauge it you know and then the next time will be when i get on the lift so what i normally do here or what i was doing on the warlock was i was going straight up straight up here let's punch this guy to death uh straight up here but because i don't have the same stuff on 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 the Titan, I took one of those berserkers out, one of those gladiators out, and now thunder crash the tank, get out of there, and you'll see I'll go straight back in, bosh bosh, change back, and, and jobs are good. And um, all I need to do is get some kills. You see there, I, for every kill I'm getting in a row, I'm increasing my ability. Regeneration speed. Which means that by the time I need it, I should have my super back. Um, we'll kill these guys. Shackle grenade. Now there, are, there is an enemy on the left of me. I thought it was the I thought it was the champion. I can see now it's not because on my mini on my mini radar I could see the champion spawning in with all these minions so now i'm going to use my my grenade launcher just because the void shields take him because i took his shield uh and then you see those two guys there I'm j i just want them out the way before i go for the champion there we go shackle grenade easy money make sure you get the finish and that's that is us kind of on to the tormentor section so Got a decent amount of heavy, we're all good. Pick up these orbs, it's all points. Now, I'm just gonna stand here, I'm just gonna take these dogs out. Easy, you know, it's, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. And you're gonna get spree, and you're gonna get rampage medals. Now, what I'm gonna do, see there? Good, good, med, good medal collection. Now I'm gonna take out the turrets. But I'm also, if I can, I'm gonna take out the guys with the turrets. And just leave me. And normally I try and finish those guys. There we go. That's all the turrets. But watch out because you've also got dogs. So put one of them down here. And obviously the, the tormentor is following me the whole time. I want all these dogs down. There we go. And there's the tormentor. Now, I, I, I was a bit brazen here because I was going for time. Just watch out for the, for that fountain of void stuff. 
So what I'm going to do is just go up the side here. I don't really want to run away from him, so I'm just going to shackle him. And then I can finish him off. And because, because of the fragments I've got, and again, look at the video, uh, look at the start, uh, and you'll see what, what fragments I'm using. I'm getting grenade energy back from just doing damage with the grenade. Now, I'm going to pop my super and clear out all these ads. Apart from, only ad I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to clear is that guy, that void incendiary. I'm, I'm, I want to, I want to do the, see here, I've got him up. I just want to do the thing. Now, that will happen as well. You would have seen there, I've done damage, got him finishable, and then he regenerated his health, and unfortunately I melted him. 191,000, 14 minutes is about, on average, it's about a minute and a half faster than what I normally am. So, we're doing really well here. This next section, one thing happens that speeds the whole run up. You've got basically three enemies in here that you, you kind of are looking to finish. Maybe grabbing one of the the yellow bar uh, phalanxes, the honoured phalanxes. What happened was, the barrier stayed up. The barrier stayed up on the same level as me, so I'm going to take out the turrets, the adds, take this last turret, and then now I can take the barrier out, which means I can be a little bit more aggressive whilst uh, when I go down here, because I don't have a barrier champion shooting at me. So I'll kill him, and then we want to get him away. And then finish this guy. It's, it's, it's pretty simple then. Both your champions are down. We do have another elite. So we'll just go take out these. Because the only other thing now that can really hurt us are those turrets. There is there is a big a big uh, cabal guy up top of uh, arc shielded. Kind of looks like the champion. Him. I'm just going to throw my grenade. Shackle grenade. And then, as you can see here, that really got through this section pretty quickly. Normally, I'm getting on the left uh, at about 17 minutes. Now I'm going to change back to... I'll just get the finish on him. Although, you do get some points, but it's nowhere near, you know. I would only have got about three or 400 points... Uh, if I'd have just killed, if, if, if I'd have just killed him normal, so I, I never got much more points. But as you can see here, something I say a lot: if you get spree medals, uh, rampage medals, they increase your score massively. No, two hundred and twenty-six thousand seventeen minutes. That is all about two min, two and a half minutes faster than I, on average, am on the warlock. I'll tell you how long that is. Well, it's, it's like a hundred and <laughs> it's like a hundred and fifty, hundred and fifty seconds. Uh, bad joke. I'll tell you how long it is. When I get up here normally, it's about nineteen and a half minutes, which means uh, by about twenty-two minutes, I've got the boss back down. He's been up on both of his levels, and then I've brought him back down. But I'm only scoring half points No. See, I've, I've gotten myself into possession. We've, we're still scoring maximum points. So we want to get some spree medals. And just keep, you see, try and keep this little mini streak going. So we can get a rampage or something like that. There we go. You see how that jumped? Now it's at 6,000. Perfect. If, I'd, if he hadn't have been, if he hadn't have been a solar shielded guy I could have just kept going with the primary throw my grenade on the the ads coming in and now I want I want to take the gun off this ship if at all possible so I'll just reload this manually because he's not getting 
fly about at this moment shooting me with these there we go his guns down so now we've got another wave of ads but we're still scoring points at maximum getting a maximum score here and we just want to get a little something going now I put a grenade on these guys as you can see it, it, it was it would never have killed them he can be finished it would never have killed them but just makes it easier to kill them when I need to so take out the last guy there 244,000 I'm gonna get this heavy now what I'm gonna do I'll wait for these ads to kind of land throw a grenade down there see if I can get any love with a grenade but no, no, in about 30 seconds, we're going to be scoring half points. Just going to wait for him to land. I'm going to thunder crash him real quick. Make sure you hit him, because that's how you get the big, big damage. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for these dogs. Because you'll see here, we're going to get some, quite a few multi-kill medals just from these dogs. Perfect. As long as the dogs keep coming. There's more. The, the, I never done this with the warlock, and I, I was thinking when I was when I was doing the warlock. Jesus, that's like three points there. You've got to watch out when you're here because when, once he shields up, you've got to watch out because this is where. Your strand shielded guy is going to spawn up. As soon as he shoots, you've got to move because there's going to be. Uh, just throw my grenade down here. I'm going to use my shift. And then thunder crash this guy. Thunder crash the thresher. Gets rid of him. Now again, getting some kills. Starts getting my, my regeneration back. So we are going to go for the finisher, even though it normally doesn't give me anything that it did there. Now you can see I've got uh, imbil uh, ability empowerment. i just throw a grenade over there. Right, so the thing I was saying about, I'll, I'll show you how to do something that will kind of help. When you get the boss to this level, right? I'm going to thunder crash him, although my thunder crash goes all over the place here. The first one anyway. Because as I thunder crash, he jumped, so I didn't actually know where he went. But it turned this out, I did get some hits on him. I'm going to go back over here, and I have a sniper. See here? Now, I can't remember what level my sniper was at, but I think it was only at like 12. Maybe 13. You get about 70% of your... Just going to get my supper back here. You get about 70% for if, if, if you're uh, for your deep sight. From having it on when you complete this. It's nearly a level every time you complete it. You see there, I leveled up my succession. And it's it's I think it's like 0 0.7%, 0 0.7% percent per kill you count that up with a sniper it's like 150 kills or just about just a bit more than that to level a sniper up from 11 to 12 two of these will do it so there we go guys that is the titan run slightly better score than the the warlock thanks a lot for watching i hope this helps you complete your runs and i will see you guys in the next video